TV here at the Neo Youth Elite Basketball Camp in Cleveland, Ohio. And to my right, I have no other than one of the top players at the event, Julian Newman. How you feeling today, man? Good, good. Blessed. Now, now welcome to Cleveland, man. Do you know what's 45 minutes away from Cleveland? Uh, no. <laughs> T take a guess. Uh... I have no idea. Akron, Ohio, man, the home of LeBron James. You asked me where I was from, and yeah. I'm surprised you didn't know, man. I'm from Akron, Ohio, man. Now, you got family here in Cleveland, right? Yeah, yeah. Lorraine. L Lorraine. So does it feel like home? A uh, little bit. No, not really, but a little bit. <laughs> okay, man. Now, how does it feel to, to be at the Neo Youth Elite Basketball Camp for the first time? Um, you know, it's a good experience. A lot of top kids here. You know, uh, a lot of exposure. Ready to kill. Now, for the people who haven't seen you play, uh, what you going to show them today? Uh, you know, that all the hype is real, and that hard work can, can get you somewhere. Now, talk about the hype, man. From a young age, all the hype, man. Talk about how you deal with the pressure. Uh, yeah, I hype at a young age, you know. Um, really just had to keep working. Don't let it get to your head, you know, because kids are always working, just like you. Uh, maybe even harder, but you can't let nobody outwork you. It, it, no matter how how big your name is, you still got to work. Yeah, man, even some of the biggest names, I'll take it like the rap game. The yeah. biggest names keep working. They keep yeah. dropping hits after hits. Same with at basketball. You yeah. keep going to show out. Talk about the haters, man. A lot of haters. I'm pretty sure you got a lot of haters. Haters here, yep. haters there, haters everywhere, man. Talk about the haters a little bit. Uh, haters are always going to be there. You know, um, Le LeBron has haters, and he's the best player in the world right now. Uh, no matter how good you are, you're always going to have haters, no matter what. They're, you know, they motivate me, and I like it because one of the haters. If people don't hate, then I'd be worried because then I'm not relevant. Like I'm not. If you ain't got no haters, you ain't popping, and, and that's real talk. Now I saw you out there. You defeated Sonny Johnson, man, three nothing. How did you get your handle so quick, man? Uh, just my father training my father every day. You know we uh, can't really give you the secret, but we put uh, have some weights and just dribble all day, work out, new stuff every day. Now in the NBA, they like to compare. You know who has the best handles? It's yeah. Chris Paul, uh, Kyrie Irving. Um, who else? Uh, Steph Curry. Yeah. To me, I think Kyrie Irving. Yeah, yeah. Who, who do you think? Definitely Kyrie Irving. So give me a, give me your top three handles in the NBA. Top three all time or just NBA right now? Right now, uh, Kyrie number one. Uh, Isaiah Thomas number two. Number three, Damian Lillard. I give it two. No Steph Curry in there. No. Who's the best player in the NBA? Best player in the NBA. My opinion, LeBron and Isaiah Thomas. Because LeBron, I mean, it's not even like his skills. His skills are, I mean. They can't be better, but, like, his mindset and his drive is crazy. You can't stop him, really. Right. And the thing I like this year about the NBA is Isaiah Thomas because, you know, he's yeah. only, like, what, 5'5". Five, five. Yeah. He got to the basket, scored when he wanted to. And for you, I know you take heed to his game because of the size. How do you get your baskets, uh, being that you may not be as tall as other people? Yeah. Uh, you know, just being quicker than everybody and, you know, uh, having to go out quicker, jump stops, you know, just be smart with it, you know, like – Isaiah Thomas is my favorite player, uh, him and LeBron, because Isaiah Thomas is short and he has the heart of a lion. He feel like no one can stop him. Yeah, man, he definitely got the heart of a lion, and he went out there and balled up after he lost his sister. Man, that's, that's, that's really major, man. Now, had your sister ever beat you playing horse or maybe one-on-one -on -one in the backyard? Keep it real, man. Be honest with me. Um, she has before, but messing around. She, when, when I'm serious, uh, which I take it serious with her every time now, uh, she, she never beat me now. Like, maybe when you're younger, but no, nah, not really. So you admit that she got you? Of course, maybe. Not one-on-one. -on -one. <laughs> okay, now what's your favorite thing to do outside of basketball? Um, spend time with my family and friends. You know, uh, just enjoy life with my friends, going out to the movies or whatever. What yeah. type of music you listen to? Uh, a lot of Future. Future. A what, what's your favorite Future song? Future. Um, let me see. Let me think. Let me think. Let me think. Wicked. Future Wicked. Wiggy, 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 wiggy. I, I like that too. I like that mask off too. That. Yeah. Doon, 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 doon. That beat, that beat, that beat, just crazy, yeah. man. You got, a, you got a favorite food, man? Um, chicken Alfredo. I love you like Olive Garden. Yeah. I love Olive Garden. My, hey, listen, I'm gonna play you in a game of one on one, and if you beat me, I'll give you a twenty-five dollar gift card to Olive Garden, man. Is, 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 is that a bet? Bet, bet. All right, man. Go out there and ball up. Right, appreciate it. And do what you gotta do. Yeah. Yeah.